gamers, I'm Jason, and today on Dyson Dragons, I'm going to be unboxing all of the content for Zombicide Second Edition. I decided to go all in on this one. It is, of course, published by Simon Games in conjunction with Guillotine Games. It is designed by Jean Baptiste Louis, Nicolas Raoult, and Raphael Guiton. Hopefully, I got all those pronunciations right. I do speak French, so I think I did fairly well. Now, of course, what will you be doing in Zombicide Second Edition? Well, just like the first edition game, you're going to be going on missions. You will need to complete different objectives while surviving an onslaught of zombies. And as you're on those missions, you'll be exploring, finding different objectives that you need to complete the mission, as well as getting some loot, gearing up your characters, and having fun just mowing down zombies. Now, what is different about second edition is we do have the two new campaign expansions. Now, one, Washington DC was included with the core pledge. The other was an add-on. You can see some of the other add-ons right here. Trust me, we did get all of them, so you will be seeing them shortly. Now, this game is for one to six players, ages 14 and above, and plays in about an hour. Well, we've got a lot of content to unbox, and if you're just looking to see something in particular, take a look down below in the video description. You'll find our timestamps, the whole video's timestamps, so you will be able to find the specific thing. If you just wanna see the core box, check it out. If you wanna see any of the campaign boxes, check those out. We will be doing some group unboxings for the smaller content. We'll be doing it all at once. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at what's in all these boxes. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box for Zombicide Second Edition. Now I've been eagerly awaiting this one. We've got Green Horde, we've got Invader. We never got Modern. Reason for that is uh, we'd heard some rumors about this. And also we just preferred the improved rules of uh, the other versions of the game. So this one, uh, when we heard it was announced, we just had to check it out. So let's take a look at the rule book. There's definitely been some improvement. We've got a much better binding compared with uh, the other ones, well, the other uh, Zombicides. So we have a nice round summary on the back, targeting priority turn order. Seems to be fairly similar with the original game. And nice list of the game components. Layout feels very similar to all the other Zombicides. Explanation of the inventory of the zombies, different types, player phase, combat. Overall, everything looks good. I don't really have too much that I wanna say about uh, the rule book. It looks to be uh, just a slight step up from the uh, the previous ones. We'll take out the uh, the minis box and uh, we'll get to this uh, afterwards. And one thing I will say is I did just uh, take a quick peek in the box to pre-open some things. Now we do have another one of these cardboard pieces. I removed it because it was just a little uh, difficult to manipulate what was in the box. We'll put it back in uh, afterwards when we take a look at the tokens. Uh, this is a downgrade though. Those pieces were plastic in the other uh, Zombicide games and great for storing components around as well as uh, easy to manipulate. Something that uh, I think uh, I might be missing a little bit in this box. So we do have some tokens. We've got the doors. Looks like these are blocked off areas. We've got the noise tokens. Here we have, we'll just start putting this back. I know it's not the same order, but we'll put the sheets back as we take a look at it. The zombie spawn points. Actually, these don't look to be doors, actually. Not quite sure what those are. I'll find out maybe they're barricades. These are the different door tokens. You can tell by the colors. The blue and the green are special. Then there's the red. And then we have just the the tiles, they're all double-sided. Little cleaner, little neater than the, the Zombicide ones, but as you can see, everything's divided up into spaces. Uh, it's not as much of a grid as in the original version of Modern. That started changing with Invader, the way they did the art, but just the things like the crosswalks are really great, as well as the rooms to help you uh, delineate the different zones. and. Like in what I see so far, oh look, we've got like a token. Maybe it's a chest. I think those are maybe boxes, chests, things that we can find. And then, yeah, that looks to be like another type of chest. So that's what those those uh, components were. They are to symbolize where we can find some different uh, objectives. And so far, still looking very much to be Zombicide, which is uh, a good thing. That's why we ended up picking up the second edition. Now we'll place this back in and we're going to open up 
our minis box. Take a look at what we've got in here. So lift the cover. We're gonna start by looking at our survivors. These are the cards that we have here. Looks like we are looking at the uh, the back side of them, or not quite sure what uh, what this is. So sniper, yeah. So this was the back side. So let's take a look at the top. We've got Amy. And that's really cool that they're actually placed in order. So Amy, we're not going to take a look at all of the abilities, but we'll take a look at her miniature. Lots of detail. I like the way she looks. Girl running around with the katana. Always looks like there uh, should be a lot of fun to play. Back of the card, we've got an explanation of her ability, which is, I think, something that is really cool. Didn't have that in previous versions of Zombicide. Here we've got Doug. Nice detail on the mini holding the bag, carrying a lot of guns and equipment. We've got L holding a rifle. We've got Josh. Looking uh, badass. I think I saw him in the Zombicide game for iPhone, but I'm not quite sure. Ned, your typical grizzly survivor. Wanda, our waitress with a chainsaw. Roller skating waitress with a chainsaw. Ooh, that definitely does sound like a lot of fun. We've got Bunny G, the kid with the bat. We have Lily, also holding a bat and two pistols, ready to take out some zombies. Lou, dual wielding swords. Like I gotta say, I'm loving all of these minis so far. Typically, I like to get into some of the uh, the stretch goal characters, usually fairly early on, just because uh, they may be some of the coolest. But I'm really liking what we've got in the space box so far. Odin with his axe, very sweet. We've got Astara. Very cool. Also with a chainsaw. And our last character is Tiger Sam holding the Molotov cocktail, double bell shotgun. And not quite sure what that is strapped across his back. So these are all of the survivors that we have in the game. We saw the police cards and stuff earlier. I'm not gonna take out too much of the stuff here, as you can see, we've got just the bases for the different survivors. You'll be playing with six players. Most games are bounced around six players. And then the pegs to track the different things. I don't want to spend some time opening this up. Standard six-sided dice. I didn't actually buy any of the uh, the special dice. We wanted to get all of the content for the game, not so much the, uh, the blinged out extras. We're gonna take a look at what we've got below, but before we get to that, Take a look at the cards. So we've got the police car and the pit mobile references. We've then got the blue zombie car, zombie side cards. We'll take a look at what these are. So these are definitely zombie spawn as well as items, chainsaw, crowbar, fire axe, flashlight, katana. Get the idea, your pistols, plenty of bullets. We'll just put that back here. So that's the blue. Got the red Zombicide cards. So these seem to be some of the special ones we can get, like army sniper rifles, automatic shotguns, twin pistols, a golden AK-47, gun blade, I <laughs> love that Moss shotgun, nail bat, we've got Lucille, Sansitsu Ken, pretty cool stuff. So these are, ah, we're dropping these. So we'll, we'll put those there, I wanna put this back the way I found it. This makes my life typically a little easier. We got one of the walkers trying to run away. So I'll put this just down over there for now. Take a look at what we've got here. So these are our standard starting items that will be split up between the six characters. A baseball bat, crowbar, fire axe, and the two pistols. So that makes up all the gear cards that we can get in the game. Uh, of course, we've got our zombie spawn deck. So we've got the different types, the different uh, abominations. We've got the Abomina Cop, Abomina Wild, the Hobo Abomination, and Patient Zero. Now as we're talking about these, let's take a look at them. We've got them here. So these are all the different uh, 
Different ones, this looks to be the cop. I'm guessing here we've got the hobo abomination. Is it the hobo one or is that the, no, abominable wild. Almost reminds me of Bane uh, with that backpack. I do like the fact that we're getting some different style uh, abominations. We've got the hobo abomination right here. Lots of detail, really like the minis. And then we've got patient zero, the first of the zombies. And then next we've got the walker spawn cards and they're all at uh, generic walker rush cards, fatties, runners, the abomination. So we've got the standard ones. It looks to be like the, the cop mini represents the standard one, but you can use any of them. Walker Rush, Runners, and all that good stuff. Well, there you have it. We've taken a look at the cards. We'll take a look at the minis we've got in here. It looks like we, we have uh, a row of walkers and the rest are runners. So it looks like these are the runner minis. I do like the fact that they're got a little bit more variety than what we had. I'm guessing they're running just because of the way their legs are moving. Possibly that these are runners as well, but they do look a little bit like walkers. Here we've got some more runners. Very cool. I definitely think we're seeing uh, a little bit higher level of detail than what we had in previous iterations of the game. I'm gonna lift this up. Try not to spill it everywhere. Probably should have just taken the cards out first, but even like, oh, okay, you know what? We're gonna move this, lift the cards out, lift this up as so. I always go into these unboxings blind, so uh, I make mistakes like that. And then, as we didn't look at them, take a look at the new Zombicide boards, space for your cards, your hands, pegs and the tracker. A little stiff, but that's good. Now, down here we've got the rest and a little tricky to, to lift up, but not overly difficult. Let's take a look at all the different walkers we have. So this looks like to be like a hobo walker. We've got this type of walker. And each row is different, actually. I thought that these might be similar, so they're not. I started in the middle for some reason. So the ones we were looking at previously were the runners. Nice detail. That guy's even got a post through him, and he's still walking around. Jeez. Very cool. Loving the fact that there is just so much more variety to these zombies. And gives you... Uh, an easier way to track uh, some of the different zombie packs as they're uh, they're on the board. We got a nice variety of fatties. Now there's two of each of the fatties, which makes sense because of the way they spawn and the amount. I hate fatties. I hate when they blow up all over our uh, survivors and uh, just essentially ruin the day. So there you have it. This guy's got an axe in him and he's still going. Well, we've done it. We've unboxed the core game for Zombicide Second Edition. Now keep it right here as we'll be taking a look at all of the stuff. This is the uh, all-in unboxing, all-in-one video. I mentioned it earlier. I'm going to mention it again. If there's something specific you're looking for, take a look down below in the video description. There are the timestamps. You can find a specific part of the video, specific expansion that you're maybe interested in picking up or trying to get uh, on the secondary market as not all of this content is going to be available in stores. Now, what I do want to get into, flip this back out because I wasn't quite thinking there when I put it in. Got to make sure to be able to close it, which can't do when it's sitting in the box. I do love the storage for the game. The only problem is it takes up a lot of room when you leave it in the box that it comes in. But there you have it. This is the core game 
Zombicide Second Edition. Now keep it right here as we're going to take a look at Washington ZC, and then we'll be coming back with the stretch goals as that's what's made up the core pledge of the game, and then we'll start taking a look at the other add-ons such as Fort Hendricks. I'll be back in a flash. Now let's take a look at what's in the box for the Washington ZC expansion. You notice this is a campaign expansion for Zombicide. I imagine we got some campaign components we can't take a look at, but we're going to show off whatever we can without getting into spoilers. Now we've got the new rules and the missions for Zombicide. We've got 95 objective cards, some new equipment cards, the campaign sheet, the stuff that we're going to see. There's the clock and night rule, so we've got day and night. That's pretty cool. Light sources, interesting. Some Washington ZC special rules. And then the rules how to use the campaign mode. And explains how to set everything up. And then you're good to go through the missions. How many missions we've got? So eight. There, there's 10 missions in here. That is a sizable uh, campaign. I got to say that's a little bit more than uh, what I was expecting. And uh, I know Julie and I plan on playing the uh, the base game first, but uh, I don't know. This, this campaign might hit the table sooner rather than later. Let's uh, open up what we've got here. So we've got the new light sources. We've got the day and night wheel. We've got what looks to be a Humvee here. And it looks like there's a spot for that, so maybe I'll actually punch it out. Here are the new tiles. Looks to be like we're in the uh, the White House, some kind of bunker. Yeah, there's the uh, the Oval Office. Pretty cool, and they're all double sided. Oh, look, this is it's like when things weren't gone bad, and then the other side is once everything has gone to hell for some of them. So you can see where we can get some items. There's the, the Humvee, the tank. Oh, we even got a tank. This is definitely going to be pretty cool. Looking forward to checking this out. The campaign tracker, so your survivor name, the player name, the skills you get. So these look to be like uh, specific skills. Then you calculate your campaign XP, bonus actions you get, and then your equipment, any achievements. Wonder what those are. And then here are these objective cards. And then we'll take a look at the back, and you'll see that these are all... I mean, they got some story elements, so we're not going to look at them at all, but you can see the different campaign packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten. So it does look like we've got a package of these for each mission that we'll be going through. Yeah, it looks like there is a, yeah, the plastic goes over this a little bit overkill. So uh, we'll go on to the survivors next and we'll keep oh, you know what we'll open this up we'll put the survivors off to the side because take a look at their cards when we get a chance to let's open up our package so these looks to be like the uh the washington zc the the zombie spawns oh no these are special uh washington zc equipment glocks cow bars a lot of military grade uh equipment Pretty cool. So I'm guessing this is all campaign specific, since it's got the uh, that logo on it. Whereas here we've got just some more equipment that you can potentially mix in with in game. And doesn't right now I don't see anything that helps separate it. Or maybe if you're playing Washington DC, you should only use the stack of items and not the ones from the main game. So we got some more stuff, army sniper rifle. Yeah, it looks like these really just another set of cards so you can keep everything separate. For your six survivors, you do have your starting cards. So that is pretty cool. I do like, I gotta say the package is pretty well thought out when it comes to restoring everything. We clearly got a space for the timer, the light tokens, some more cards or Things that we're going to be kept aside from our campaign. I'm going to lift this out. It is fairly well stuck. I think it's taped, but yeah, it's taped on the edges. 
so we'll get that off. It's annoying because I didn't see the tape is actually, it's actually at this end here, and at this end, and it's not, uh, it's not coming off that easily, but it looks like they actually taped on one side. Nope. It's taped on two sides, just not all four sides. The annoying part about this is the tape is rather thin. If I kept myself a knife, I would have been able to cut it. I'm trying to open it without really damaging the plastic. But oh, here we go. Okay, once you get one of the sides off. And the rest of it's not that bad, but it's still a little obnoxious. I know it's taped for for shipping purposes, but to be dead honest, I don't think taping it for shipping purposes, considering the box that we you get it in and everything, I don't think it adds all that much. Yeah, let's just lift this all out. Oh, I should have done that earlier. So there we go, we got it done. Albeit a little messier than uh, I would like, and I'll make note of that to make sure that we will not have to go through that on the following expansions. But I don't know, I'm kinda happy that it, we struggle with it just a little bit because I'm not really a fan of how the minis and everything are packaged. I get the, you know, you wanna keep them tight, it's nice, it's okay, but not sure. Uh, here we've got our six-sided dice. Just a little bit more zombicide flavor, which is always nice. Uh, we've got our survivors. Let's take a look at them. We've got Angelo. Cool. Anton. Looks like he came over from Russia and just got, uh, got stuck with us. We've got Ashley. Feeling chainsaw. Got axe, cool looking mini. We've got Justin. Oh, did that go back in the wrong order there? And I think that looks to be, yeah, so this looks to be Jake, it's Justin right here. Although the mini looks a little different actually than what we have seen. Everyone else seems to match, but not, uh, not Justin for some reason. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I'm wondering if I actually didn't get the correct miniature. We've got Mindy right here, wielding the big machete. And we've got Tess, who looks like she fits. Yeah, definitely. When I'm looking at Justin, just style, there's a sword, but it definitely looks like this is a different character that doesn't quite fit in there. So it does look like there was a potentially a mistake. We also have these two companions that we can get and their cards should be in the sack of cards I just removed. Now, uh, as I took everything out, let's put it all back in the box. Take a look, quick look through and see if we can find the companion cards, or there could be that their details are in the books. Oh, you know what? The cards are probably in the campaign cards. What I said we're not going to look at. So let's put everything back into the box, get it boxed up, and then we'll be taking a quick look at the straw. Well, I say quick look, this is on beside with a way more content than uh, you typically need, but gotta love it. So we'll be unboxing the stretch goals, followed by taking a look at some of the other parts of the campaign. I'm gonna need to get a bag or something for that because that is going to end up everywhere. Yeah, so we'll be taking a look at some of the extras that we picked up for the campaign. Now keep it right here as I'll be back in a flash. Now let's take a look at what's in the Zombicide Second Edition's reboot box. This contains some of the stuff that you need for the upgrade from first to second, as well as all of the stretch goals. 
So we've got the reboot rules. Take a look what we got in here. So some of the new uh, pimp weapons explain some of the new skills like uh, Danny Trail Survivor Skill, the new abominations that are going to be in there. The daily zombie spawn house rules that you can use. So there's quite a few as you can see. Some new fatty zombies. And then, uh, yeah, that's what you got. All the house rules for some of this extra content. Now, I did take a quick peek just to uh, open up some of the packaging, make it a little easier. So we've got the actual cannibals, the bat abomination, the bear man boar, Bigfoot, all of the different abominations. Then we've got Danny Trio's machete, the sledgehammer, the minigun, nail gun, President's Golf Club. A lot of cool stuff that is going to be uh, improving your ability to attack. A mummy abomination is going to spawn. Do you like what we get with these cards? I'm just going to put these over here. Well, lift out this box, which I'm guessing is going to have all of the uh, abominations in it. But before we take a look at that, we've got these cards here, which are the stretch goals for Zombicide 2nd Edition. And I already opened this one up just to see what it was. And these are all of the upgrade cards to go from Zombicide 1st Edition. You can see the older versions of the Survivors from 2E into 2nd Edition. You then have a bunch of the Stretch Goal heroes. And I think you even got other versions of Amy and the others. We're not going to go through all of these. I, yeah, so you can see Amy, Doug from, I believe, uh, the second part of the story. You've got all these cards which will let you play your minis in second edition. Now, if you got some minis you want to proxy, or you can proxy just your existing minis, this does give you still a ton of variety of uh, different types of characters that you can play, even if you don't have the correct miniatures. Now, I don't know if Julie and I are going to look at getting the minis in the future, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. Let's take a look. Once again, we've got some tape. And I'm really not a fan of taping these. I know it supposedly makes everything a little bit better for shipping, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking these uh, the boxes a little bit better than tape, but I guess it's because you're not able to then use the plastic as storage space for things like the cards. But it's just a little obnoxious, nothing that is overly difficult to deal with. And there we go, the tape is off. I don't like using knives and stuff because I, as you notice, I like to peel the tape off. That's just me, I want my stuff to be nice and clean. So let's take a look at the abominations that we actually have right here and figure out which is which. Uh, I don't see the absolute can cannibal. Don't got, yeah, we've got the bear manibore, the bear man boar, and all the rules are located inside. I believe here we've got the mummy Abomination, pretty cool. You've got Cthulhu as an abomination. I mean, if he just shows up as an abomination, this game might just be game over. And look at what we've got here, the Greenwich Crew. We've got the Lanky Man, so that version of Slender Man. I do like the fact that they are getting some tropes from more horror films into the game, even though horror is not really my thing. Then we've got the black dog. And once again, all the minis have nice details and really good stuff. Loving the quality in this, uh, in this game. Now let's take a look at our pack of characters as they're, they're in the box. I, you know what? Change of plans. We'll open it up. We'll take a quick look at the characters and we'll take a look at the mini. But as you can see, we've got a lot stretch goal heroes taking a look at them all individually and assigning a uh, a name to them is just going to take a long time uh, johnny law was separate in the box for uh, for some reason so i just put him at the front but i do like to look andrea bagby van byron big devil billy she's definitely creepy looking bruin carol carter clarice the clerk dale Doria, Felix, Grace, Hayden, I like the two Molotovs, Her Royal Majesty, Hudson, maybe one of my favorites being based on John Wick, Hunter, who definitely looks like a Terminator a little bit, 
Isaac, Jay, John Doe, Johnny Law. Uh, there must have been an issue with the Johnny Law card because we got one included separately. Laura, Leah, Will Will, Liv, Lizzie, Logan with two knives. Love it. Luke, Mason, Mona, Phil, Pinky, the Prime Minister, Queen, love the look of their character, Smitty, Solana, Stylus, and Victor. Uh, we got plenty of content, even if we're not going to be able to use the miniatures, the cards for the reboot box, which is totally fine by us. I think we've got more than enough characters having gotten the all-in pledge. You never know, maybe I'll find Zombicide first edition on sale. Let's take a look at what we've got here. And as you'll notice, we've got a lot of individual different miniatures. So we're gonna, do our, we're gonna take a quick look at this stuff. I don't wanna go, Max, you know what? I'm gonna change this up. Normally I take them all out, but with individual minis, if we look at them all collectively, this is going to take quite a long time. So as we were showcasing them to you, I'll take out the abominations when I put them back down though. We've got all these different special zombie spawns that you can use for the house rules. Uh, lots of detail on the different miniatures. Love the way that they look. I really enjoy the, the almost looks like a mariachi from uh, Day of the Dead, but not sure. It's almost like a one man band at the same time. We've got the football player looks really cool. The fatties have uh, a lot of detail to them uh, as well. Just overall really cool. And here we seem to have like some type of a zombie horde swarm thing or potentially one of the other abominations. Looks very cool. So we've got the actual cannibal right here. Just take a look at the minis just because of the way these are all coming out of the box. I don't want to uh, spend too much time looking at all the characters and minis individually. This one looks like a creepy demon. Uh, we've got almost a, a vampire. Well, just probably a zombie popping out there. Don't know what happened here with this guy, but that is definitely a scary abomination. And really love the fact that we... Uh, this person looks like they're coming out of a renaissance fair. <laughs> and of course we've got the zombie ballerina. Very creepy and I'm looking forward to incorporating those rules. Now, we looked at the characters. Here are all of the new heroes for Zombicide second edition and you'll notice they're not all in the same order. We've got uh, Andrea right here with her big guns. Logan looks very cool. Queen, forgot who this character's name is, but he's got two swords rocking it. Absolutely love it. This Her Royal Majesty here. Yeah, looks like we got Her Royal Majesty. So lots of fun characters. As you can see, lots of detail to all of these minis, but I want to try to cut down on the, uh, the time spent go looking at, uh, sorry, no, this is Her Royal Majesty right here with the minigun, absolutely love it. I wanna cut down the time on this unboxing, especially for people that aren't gonna be able to get the stretch goals, but uh, really do like what I'm seeing out of all of these characters. Very cool. And that's what you get in the reboot box. I think we've covered enough of the content and we're gonna move on to Fort Hendrix next. And then we're gonna take a look at all of the other night extras that you can get. And we got the rules for Jenny Trejo stuff in this reboot box. We picked up uh, his set. So we will be unboxing that with a few other of the smaller Zombicide sets during this video. Once again, if you've been watching and you haven't taken a look down below in the video description at all, uh, we do have timestamps. So if there's anything specific that you do want to check out, I recommend you skip ahead. As you can see, you've got everything that you need to have a crazy game of Zombicide. And if you're a huge fan of first edition and you went up and got second edition as well, well, you've got even more content. Now keep it right here as I'll be back with the unboxing of Fort Hendrix. Let's take a look at what's in the box for the Fort Hendrix expansion for Zombicide. This was another reason why Julie and I wanted to uh, take a look at picking up uh, the second edition. We love our campaigns, even though we have a hard time finishing them all. 
So with Fort Hendrix, we've got some new heroes, some advanced starting equipment, and of course some new pimp weapons. We've got the objective cards, which we're not gonna showcase because that'll lead to spoilers. And we've got some shooter walkers, which ooh, they're gonna be able to shoot at us. So we've got some ground, like ground zero, just the explanation, the new advanced rules. And you got a lot of the similar rules from um, the other campaign, but you gotta understand that these are designed to be able to be picked up and used separately. So all the rules for the Fort H Hendrick specifically started like page 11. Everything else seems to be just the new campaign rules and then explanation how to get started with your campaign and all the different missions. Let's just see how many missions we got. So it's another 10 mission campaign, which I think is going to be pretty cool and a lot of fun and a great reason to get Zombicide out on game nights. Let's take a look at, of course, the cardboard components, the new tiles. So with regards to the, the new tiles, we also have, once again, the light sources and the wheel for day and night. Got a few new locations. So far, these ones that we're looking at look to be more like, like we're on the street. So I don't think this is going to be necessary in an army, but oh, this starts to look more like the base barracks uh, a little disappointing in the fact that everything does look still like the, the streets i get it it's the new standard to tell apart the different zones but i would have liked to have seen something that looks a little bit more like on uh, an army base oh well, this we're starting to look more uh, more base like here we've got the destroyed uh jeep a few more areas as well u.s army and of course the downed helicopter so that makes up our nice cardboard components. Here we've got the campaign tracker. So for your campaign XP, campaign skills, bonus actions, and any achievements that you're gonna get, just the little components to assemble. The wheel. Here we've got our characters, which we'll just move off to the side. We'll take a look at it in a moment. In a moment. So the different note packs, we're not gonna take a look at them as these will have spoilers for the campaign. But you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, and Guessing over here, we've got another five. Let me just check something because they both say note number two. And I note these packs are different, so we are good to go. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Guessing there's a reason why they all say note number two. Now, opened up the pack here to see what we got. So, of course, these are the four Hendrix. Specific cards and these cards, you can always mix in. So some new loot, more katanas, kukuris, machetes, molotovs, sawed-offs, sniper rifle, water, all the stuff that really fits more along the lines with being at a military base. You might find some zombies. We got some incendiary grenades and the real military equipment here. But uh, M16s, M4 carbines, your flashlights, HK and MP5s, kabars, MRE, Mooseberg 500, plenty of bullets, repair kits. So lots of cool stuff. Tactical Halligan. I really like the fact that we've got the campaign cards and then some just more standard equipment cards that can be incorporated. Well, you will probably be using in the campaign. I mean, we've got some more here. But I, I like how they've made it separate to give you that nice feel. So we've got the zombie spawn cards that you'll be using. So walkers, the fatties. Uh, once again, these are all just generic when you'll be using the different types that you've got. Right, let's see what we've got here. We've got our new standard stuff with a crowbar, fire axe, a kabar, pistol, right, and two rifles. Then from the pimp weapons, same things that we had before. Oh no, we got Patnam's Magnum, Patton's Long Colt, Prize Katana, a shotgun, a sledgehammer, the wrist breaker, but lots of bad zombies. And we got some canned food, of course, chainsaws and regular flashlights that we will be locating. Now let's lift this out. I already took the tape off. Learned my lesson with how bad it was on the uh, other two unboxings. We'll just make sure that gets off to the side. And let's take a look at what we've got. So we have the new shooter walkers, which will be shooting at us, the zombie soldiers. Now you don't get too many of them, you only get six, and uh, there's two 
Uh, one, two, yeah. Well, this almost looks like there's a, no, two different sculpts. I thought there was three for a second, but there's two. Let's just take a look at this one in more detail. So if you like the paint, plenty of detail on the miniature. Here's the other shooter, Walker. And then we've got the companion, Penny. And I'm sure she's gonna show up in one of those packs that we didn't look at. Here we've got the dice, just fancier D6 for Zombicide, which is always fun to have, but uh, not necessary. Uh, we didn't pick up any of the extra dice. Let's take a look at the heroes. So we've got Javier, and these aren't in order, as uh, they were in some of the other boxes. So this is Javier right here. We've got Carl. Definitely gives me a feel of uh, Carl from a Predator, and it looks like uh, he's right here. Pretty cool. We've got Marion. I'm guessing is right here, police officer that has uh, ended up on the army base. We've got Michelle rocking the chainsaw, ready to kick some butt. Not quite sure how she got there. And once again, all the details you need about different abilities are on the back of the card. We've got Riley rocking the ax and the shotgun, ready to kick some butt. And then lastly, we've got Wayne rocking the two machetes. And these are all of the characters that you're gonna find in Fort Hendrix. So six heroes, everything you need to uh, get going. You also just need the uh, some of the base components, otherwise you will not be able to play the game. It is not compatible without the second edition core box. So let's get everything back where it goes. And there you have it. These are the components for the Fort Hendrix expansion. Now keep it right here as we're gonna start taking a look at the small box survivor expansions next. And then we'll take a look at some of the other extras. And uh, the presidential box is one thing that we'll include when we look at the small box survivors, just because I wanna open all those at the same time. Keep it right here, I'll be back in a flash. Now we're gonna take a look at what's in the box for a lot of these small box expansions for Zombicide Second Edition. Uh, we do have the presidential box here, which was included in the core pledge. We also got the survivors. Now these minis can be used in the Cro Zombicide Chronicles RPG, or you can use them as we got them right here for second edition. You're gonna get some character cards for those pre-made survivors included. Now with regards to Nico right here, we actually do have a character sheet for him. This will let you include him in the Zombicide Chronicles RPG. Maybe it's an RPG book we'll pick up uh, in the future. I don't know, just haven't had as much time for tabletop RPGs as of late. So we'll start with the presidential pack since this is uh, well, the presidential box. This was included in the main pledge. Now I have uh, pre-opened some of the stuff just to make sure that it's uh, a lot easier for us to take a look at. We've got the character cards here. We got President 45. Pretty sure all of them you can tell who they're based on. President 44, President 43, President 42, President 40, and then we got President 16. Lots of cool stuff. I do love the callback to uh, a film that the, they use his likeness. Also, I'm not going to take it out of the box. We can see it here. The presidential box explains the new survivor class, how to use them in the Washington CC expansion, and some other new things that come with this type of survivor. Now, as we only have six minis, let's take a look at what we've got. So here we've got President 45. I do think it's a little appropriate that he's got the, uh, the AK there. We've got President uh, 44. Looking all stylish. Here we've got President 42. President 16. Looking badass. We've got President 43. And then we've got President 40. Cool stuff. Looking forward to having these characters included uh, in the game. So, well. Uh, Get this box back up and we'll move on here to the Zombicide Soldier set. Now it's, it does tell you on the back, you do need to have Fort Hendrix for these to be worth anything. Now we're not gonna take them out of the box. You've seen them already, but oh, why not? Let's 
I'll just take a quick look at them. We'll reveal the top. You'll be able to see the minis in case you just happen to skip ahead here. So we've got the two different types of soldier zombies here. And as you'll notice, there are absolutely no, no cards included. This is just to give you more for these uh, shooter walkers, as they're called in Fort Hendrick. So you've got a few more miniatures to use in your games. So remember that if you are looking to pick these up, make sure that you do have the Fort Hendrix expansion. Now we'll take a look at the Danny Trejo, Badass Survivor and Zombie set. So here we do get some new cards for this. We'll take a look first and foremost. So Trejo spawning as a zombie. Oof, all that nasty stuff that he can do, that's, that's no fun. Take a look at what we've got here. So we have Trejo, the survivor, wielding two machetes. I will definitely be playing him at some point in the game. Here we've got his survivor card. And on the back has the explanations as his uh, as his ability, the new rules for, for Trejo. I'm going to take this out because we got the rules for the survivor. And then his zombie cards, the walker, and an abomination. So he can be uh, all sorts of uh, unpleasantness. So here is Treo as an abomination. Don't really want to face that in uh, <laughs> the game. And like the daily zombie spawns, we've got some specific rules to play him as a walker as well. Now these are also going to be, uh, going to mix them in. I'll probably use a small bag to keep these cards separate so they don't get mixed in. Uh, with some other stuff, but try to figure out a way to probably get this into the reboot box just so that uh, I don't have uh, as much room being taken up by all of these different expansions because eats up a lot of shelf space. So we'll take move on to the other survivors, the uh, easy ones to open up. And I'm depending on how these guys come out, I may or may not put them back in the box. So here we've got Gabriel. Pretty cool looking character. I like the idea with the two guns and the sword. Definitely someone that I will be uh, using in the game. I hadn't opened this one up. I figured they hadn't taped them, but they've gone ahead and taped them. So I'm going to just open it up. It's easy enough. A little harder than I thought to get open, but not that bad. So there you go. You've got the Gabriel Survivor miniature. Now for the moment, I'm going to put this back in the box, but most definitely him and Nico are going to be added into the uh, the reboot box. There should be enough space to uh, to put their cards in. Actually, you know what? Since I'm going to do that right away, save myself some of the reboxing. We're just going to leave them out. I've got the room for it and really don't need to be keeping these small plastic, uh, well, small plastic as well as a small box. So here we've got uh, Nico as well. You can see his survivor card. Go ahead and just cut the tape off. And here we've got him wielding his sword. Well, swords looking all sorts of cool. And now we'll get into the Chronicle survivors. So these are all of the named survivors that are in Zombicide Chronicles. So we've got tons of survivors and uh, with the reboot box, you also have lots of cards and basically if you want to, you can definitely just proxy some minis to use the cards from the reboot box if you don't have those characters. But just in terms of second edition characters, I think uh, we've got plenty to keep us busy for a while. So we'll try to uh, find them all. So we've got Amato with the bicycle. It might be in order right here. I do love the fact that we're seeing some more, uh, a little more dynamic miniatures. They're not just, you know, people with guns and swords. Here we've got Ben. Looking awesome. With the sawed off shotgun on the back. We've got Erin, who uh, I don't quite see right now. Ah, there she is. So this is not in order. We've got Erin. Pretty cool. We've got Glenn. All set up with protection on his back with the cage, rolling around, fully geared up to take out some zombies. And I really think this is a cool mini. I will definitely be trying him. We've got Helen. All geared up and ready to cut up some zombies. Don't like fighting at close range as much, but uh, 
It can work. It can work. They've got Kiki, who definitely looks almost like a, a hitman there with the, the big gun. Letitia wielding, uh, sorry, it wasn't, wielding some type of sword. Yeah, just a machete. I almost thought it was a, a chainsaw. She's looking cool too. Got Mark with the dual, dual wielding cricket bats. Very cool. Preston in his crowbar. Lastly, well, we got Reno. Very cool. And if you're wondering why we're taking a look at these minis is because uh, for those people that may have just purchased the Chronicles RPG, this might be the kind of thing that they were looking at. That's why we looked at all of the minis that we had out with this set. I do believe a lot of this stuff is going to be available at retail, unlike the uh, the reboot box. So we got Shamsia. I'm not so sure about the uh, zombie soldiers. Yuka. Always love seeing dual wielded katanas. Definitely, yeah. Uh, makes my day and there you have it we've taken a look at all the survivors from the chronicles box i will be trying to figure out a way to get uh i will take this off because it goes in like this I'll try to figure out a way to get these also into the uh the reboot box or fort hendrix or something like that survivors are easy to mix into uh, another box it gets tricky when you've got uh, some extra zombie cards per se because you want to make sure you're not uh getting everything confused, especially with some of these new campaign expansions. So there you have it. We've taken a look at a lot of these small box expansions for Zombicide. Now keep it right here as we're going to take a look at some more of the small boxes. We got the Abominations and then some of the extras that we got to just bling out the game. Now we're going to take a look at some of the other upgrades that we bought for Zombicide Second Edition, as well as the Urban Legends Abomination Pack. Now there's one thing that I do have that didn't quite fit on camera, but I wanted to keep this as the last segment. We did get a second box of the Daily Zombie set. So as you can see, we already have these in the reboot box. You do get another set of rules for them. So this is just a way to have more of these Daily Zombies as they're unique and they have their own special abilities. And we wanted more of them. So you've seen them before. You get to see them again. This is our set. I'm not going to put it back in the white box. I'm going to store it with uh, a lot of the other Zombicide miniatures that I have. Unless I can figure out a way to uh, get it into uh, one of the other boxes. I'm going to leave this out though just as a reminder that this was one of the other accessories that we got. And I was actually able to organize the survivors into all the boxes. But I think I'm going to run out of room with uh, these components. Uh, this one I'm probably going to just end up placing uh, in a drawer or a closet somewhere until I actually need it. Uh, we've already seen this stuff, so this is just the extra player components. So you get six extra player boards, different color boards, and another six starting player cards. So just in case you happen to skip ahead, you didn't see the other stuff. These are the new Zombicide 2nd Edition boards. They're red. Here we've got... The same starting cards that we have for the original survivors, just more of them. And then we've got the different color pegs to help you identify the other survivors. And this is one of the things that I normally wouldn't have picked up. However, unlike in previous iterations of Zombicide, when you pick up things like the Black Op box for Invader or one of some of the expansions for Green Horde, you actually got the player boards as they were just about a separate game. With these new campaign expansions, if you don't have this, you're not going to be able to get the extra player boards. Now, I'm a sucker for bling. Fortunately or unfortunately, and we're going to chuck that because there's no way I'm going to put these back into the box. We've got the 3D cars just so you can cruise around the board, even place your miniatures in them. So this is the uh, police car. Love the detail on it. And I believe this one is classified as the pimp mobile. And normally it's got a roof, but I mean, we want the Cadillac version so we can put our minis into the car as we cruise around demolishing zombies. Now, the last pack that we've got to take a look at here is the Urban Legends Abomination Pack. And we've got, let's move this off as well as this. So we've got the Abductor, the Chupacabra, the Killer Clown, and the Sewer Crocodile. 
These are the four new abominations that we have. It's tape, but fortunately, easy enough to take off. So let's take a look at them. Here we've got the sewer crocodile. All sorts of stuff going on. Nasty looking uh, beast. Here we have the killer clown that definitely sort of looks like Pennywise, not quite the Chupacabra. Really wouldn't want to run into one of these things. And here we've got the abductor. And there you have it. We have now finished taking a look at all the components for Zombicide second edition. I know I didn't put the cover back on, but uh, it's all good. I'm gonna to try to figure out another way to store these abominations. Now keep it right here as we'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click the like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also, down below in the video description, you'll find links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you'd like to see pictures of Julie and I playing Zombicide Second Edition or any of the other Zombicide games that we own, you'll find those pictures on the feeds. Also down below in the video description, there is a link to multizone.ca. It's got our Dyson Dragons discount code. You'll get 10% off your next purchase. They also do some group Kickstarter backing, especially for Simon games. So if you're looking to back the next Simon Kickstarter, check them out. Also, if you're looking to pick up a retail version of the core box for second edition, check it out. And a portion of that purchase will be returned to the channel. And now popping up in front of me are gonna be links to some of our previously released content. Over here, it will be our most recently released video. And over here, we'll take you back to our review and how to play of Zombicide Invader. With that being said, don't forget, keep playing games.